one and only Barbara Gate Gym and I am about to hit my SPD day which includes squat, bench, and deadlift. I also have a home gym and I can probably show you guys that later as well. But normally I would come here just because the vibes here are immaculate so that's why I try to come here more often. I am going to start my day off by just taking some of this Barbara Gate pre-workout. This one is the Sour Gummy. So we're going to take that and I'm going to take you guys through my workout. heavier than I anticipated. Uh, we are working with, technically, so 245 is supposed to be RP of like 6 to 8 based on what my coach mentioned. That kind of felt like an RP 9. Um, I think I'm like kind of fatiguing much earlier this time compared to like other moves that I've done. So uh, we'll kind of see how it goes because I have like five more sets left. So if anything, if it ends up being like really tough, then I have to actually drop down the percentage. So. Right now, 245, I'll probably drop it down to like 235. It is what it is, um, but my coach that mentioned that, like, that, I think that it's okay because every day your body feels different, your fatigue is different, depending on your sleep, stress, and all those things. And I've definitely been feeling pretty stressed. Um, I tend to be like a ball of stress all the time, so um, we'll just hit this and see how it goes. Heavy, but I was working with 90%, so I kind of didn't think it was to be expected. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to perform with that. I feel like 245 might have been my opener. But anyways, we'll just have to see. Um, so now I'm going to be hitting bench, and my bench is like my weakest, so nothing really impressive, but I'll still show you guys what I'm going to do anyways. One rep and that was actually supposed to be my third attempt for the last thing that I did so being able to hit that was pretty cool but obviously when you're on the platform it's totally different um, also want to also mention about my arch because oftentimes people who especially don't compete in powerlifting they don't really understand the technique um, and I totally understand because it looks kind of crazy um, but mainly the reason why we arch is to really shorten the range of motion but also it puts your shoulders in a much safer position alrighty guys now we are on to deadlifts and man, SPD days are always like super long. It's like almost like maybe like three hours just because you know you have your rest time and then you also have to warm up and everything too. But this time I am gonna show you guys uh, my full warm ups for my deadlifts because I feel like my deadlifts are my best lift out of all three. Um, but right now I think I'm gonna take like either another scoop of pre-workout or probably get like an energy drink because I'm fucking wiped right now, so. We're gonna get that, and then we're gonna get this deadlift in, and then we'll show you the rest of my day. I'm back home from the gym and it is now 12.24, so SBD days always take forever. Um, but I'm about to have my first meal of the day, so it's gonna be lunch, and I'm gonna be having some In-N-Out, which is my favorite place, uh, well, burger place at least, and you know, normally I don't 
eat in and out very often and I try to watch my diet very carefully but especially right now I don't know if it's like this for you guys as well but around when I start peaking or like start lifting really heavy or have a really hard workout like I just don't have an appetite and I don't feel like eating but right now it's super important that I just eat as much as I can because I need the energy and um, intensity is just really high at the moment so it's weird it's a really strange struggle that I'm having at the moment um, and it's kind of new and it's kind of nice I guess that I can have you know a burger and fries um, but we're just gonna dive right into that um, eat a little bit and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I will get back to you guys <laughs> So just finished taking a shower and I just did a little bit of my makeup because I'm going to be filming a little bit of content later in the afternoon. So before we do that, I am also making my smoothie right now, which is my favorite. And um, it has about 30 grams of protein because obviously earlier that in and out did not have enough. I also add this acai pack. This has about 10 grams of protein and I just mix that all in together and blend it away. And I've been strength training for about like six years and competing for officially three years and had to take 2020 off because of all the gym shutting down and everything. But that is why I built my home gym, which I will show you guys in a sec. I've been an online fitness coach for about three years now and it's been pretty awesome. So I'm really happy and grateful that I have the opportunity to even be able to work from home and to be able to like just have my own free time. But today I don't have any coaching calls, so I'm just gonna be making a few reels slash TikToks, whatever you guys like to call it, but I'm going to be making a few in my gym. So I will take you guys there and show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. So here you are outside in my backyard and I built all of this during quarantine, I think around like August last year, so it's been over a year now and I just built it mainly because like I was really sick of not being able to like lift things and was just doing like daily walks all the time and that was not cutting it so I had to lift some heavy shit so decided that I would invest in this. It's really not that much to begin with um, <laughs> so it's really just you know just mainly free weights. I don't even have any machines here. I have like two sets of these dumbbells which by the way it was like super hard to get weights at the time. Um, there was like a massive shortage so i got really lucky with that i also got these like horse mat things i think i got it from uh facebook marketplace by a really sketch ass dude who essentially brought one of them and one of them was like ripped you can't really see it but there's like a little rip here oops um but uh, then we got all of our plants here and a deadlift platform which i got for as an anniversary gift from my boyfriend so that was really nice of him and then we also got some free weights here. So like I mentioned before, I started lifting in 2015 and that was when, it was like the last year of my college year. So I was a senior at the time when I first started lifting and during that time, my previous partner, he had introduced me. So I feel like a lot of girls are like introduced to the gym from their boyfriends. Um, but I was the typical girl that thought I was gonna get super bulky. I never want to work on my upper body and I only want to work on legs and my butt. So um, that's all I really wanted. I never really went into this even knowing what the hell powerlifting was. Um, slowly over time, I just started to get like a lot stronger. And then around the time of 2015, that's when social media was kind of taking off and then powerlifting was starting to like get a lot bigger especially with women as well there wasn't really that many people who were in the fitness industry that were also asian women um, that were also powerlifting who also looked like me so it's very interesting how things come full circle because around the same time i actually discovered a barbell brigade and um, you guys can see here showing off the flag here they were the first powerlifting brand that I knew of that I could relate to they had similar values to me where they're like very like you know I, I feel like Bart and Gio are very themselves and I, I really really appreciated that and also because Bart is Asian so um, that was really cool to see too so I think like when it comes to choosing brands like I always want to make sure that I'm choosing a brand that like really speaks to me and where I can like truly be myself because I'm weird as fuck guys if you guys have not seen any of my content on reels and stuff like I think I, I'm a total dork um, and like I, I like that and I'm like I'm glad that this company like really 
appreciates and also values that as well like they they really value authenticity i think that's why i really love them and like not just because they're very humorous and they make me laugh but also because like they really want people who are very genuine and very much themselves and i've met so many of the other ambassadors that are just like super amazing and they're like so themselves and they're so like open to being who they are online and that is not an easy thing to do to just show yourself online so i am super happy to be a part of this family because of that anyways guys so i'm going to show, be showing you guys a little behind the scenes of like how i set up my camera and like all everything for my short form videos for like tiktoks and reels so i'll be showing you guys how i do that and like kind of talk about like how i come up with ideas and whatnot all right so now i'm going to show you guys how i make my reels and I typically use this tripod and I bring, pretty much bring it everywhere and typically I set it down here where my deadlift platform is and I set my phone down and because I don't have a cameraman like this is like very very important to have and usually I'll take my videos around this time right now it's like a little bit later in the day but I like to do it like in the afternoon where like the lighting is really good um, it's very minimal but like I like to make sure that like my videos look very consistent across the board so this is my hoodie that I wear often in a lot of my little skits and um, I play this character which everyone has now deemed as hoodie Lauren on my videos and she shows up very often and essentially it's like it's been really fun to, to like kind of play her because she is technically like the goofy side of me that like I very rarely show in person and I feel like just by like playing this character and like just put by putting on the hood like I can be very much my goofy silly self so it's been really cool so on a typical day I will make like maybe one or two reels here and I take a lot of inspiration from TikTok you can also find me there on TikTok at Lauren Ponfit and I try to like use a lot of inspiration from you know kind of like lived experiences that i've had from the gym or anything that's related to powerlifting mental health fitness or like anything that i really like like you know anime or just like general like how i'm feeling like i like to make that into a little skit and make it like really fun as well and essentially like with my content my goal is to make something that is very digestible and easy to understand while sometimes also like teaching people things so like that's why I love humor so much is like you can talk about something and like get someone to learn something as well and like they're more open to it so um, that's you know I've been like really enjoying it um, it took me a very very long time to like find the confidence to be able to like shoot videos or even like talk to the camera like this and it just really takes a lot of practice um, and you just have to like do it over and over and over again until you get better at it the gym teaches you so many lessons that you can apply to life and that's definitely one thing that lifting and training in general has really taught me to just continue to make mistakes and continue to keep trying because that is how you get good at something and that's how you get so strong as well so it's not like it happens overnight like it takes a lot of time so um so it's it's been really cool i i really enjoy what i do So it is 8 o'clock, so now I'm going to have my one bar. Typically at night I'll still like try to get in my last bit of protein, so it's either I have a protein bar or I will have Bar Brigade's milk chocolate protein, and I usually like to mix that into like a mug cake mug cake um, and it's really easy to do is you just add like two scoops and then you add an egg into it and then like you just throw it into the microwave for like 30 seconds um, but kind of felt like kind of heavy for today so I just wanted to have this so now is my downtime and um, I actually struggle very hard with giving myself like downtime so I have just been you know playing my games uh, I've been playing Genshin Impact a lot lately. I'll either do that usually or I will just like watch one of my favorite animes. So uh, currently I am watching, watching Hunter x Hunter and uh, my favorite anime is also Attack on Titan. So it's just really nice to just like relax and turn off your brain. And that go, go, go mentality that I had before is just, it's just not healthy and I need to live my life so that's why I just use this time to just like chill and be a normal person um, and and that gets kind of hard when you like have to work from home and like like you don't get to really escape from that and in terms of where I see myself in the future especially with social media I mean like 
I'm just following a lot of the trends and like being in different platforms and like just trying to spread my personal mission as much as far as I can with like different platforms. So Instagram is my main place, TikTok, getting in on YouTube as well. And now I'm about to be on Twitch. So I am just trying to put myself in a lot of places. If you guys want to check out my other stuff and my other content, you can find me at Lauren Pond on most platforms. Instagram is at Lauren Pond, TikTok at Lauren Pond Fit. Twitch at Lauren Pond and YouTube is also Lauren Pond. So thanks guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys around. Bye.